Good evening and welcome to Newsbreak Live. I'm Hiba Sama. Thanks for joining us. The Torrance Fire Department is just one day away from officially getting another distinction. The Commission on Fire Accreditation International will hold a hearing tomorrow in Orange County where the Torrance Fire Department will hopefully become an accredited agency. This would make the fire department the 73rd in the nation and the 5th in the state of California to hold the distinction of having an ISO Class 1 rating and also being accredited by the Commission. The accreditation process assists fire and emergency service agencies around the world in achieving organizational and professional excellence. In January, there was a site visit. Data was also collected. A critical assessment was done and the development of three core documents were completed. You can see the hearing streamed live at cpse.org. We'll bring you the latest from the hearing on This Week in Torrance. A one-of-a-kind ambulance will soon bring the hospital to stroke patients right here in the city. Today, Los Angeles County Board of Supervisor Janice Hahn announced a mobile stroke unit operated by UCLA Medical Center will soon be serving the city of Torrance after the board recently passed a motion funding the mobile stroke unit's upcoming operations in the city. The hope is to save more lives or even reduce the long-term brain damage and disability associated with strokes. The unit is not your average ambulance. It's equipped with medications such as the clot-busting drug TPA, a computerized axial tomography scanner, and staffed by a team of UCLA medical professionals that diagnose and treat stroke victims. The goal of the MSU program is to provide early clinical assessment and treatment for stroke patients by responding directly to the 911 emergency call for assistance. It was entered into service in 2017 as part of a national clinical trial to measure the benefits of expedited stroke care. This unit is the first of its kind in California. The unit is funded by the Henry Arline Gluck Foundation and Los Angeles County. The James Armstrong Theater has new additions to make sure your experience is more comfortable. Crews continue to install handholds at the entrance of every row in the theater. City staff tested the usability of the handholds. The installation was requested by the community since it's a bit steep. Last year, outer railings were also installed. The Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation is calling on all local artists to share their artwork with the community. The Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation is accepting entries for the 2019 Fine Arts Show that recognizes the best in original mixed media arts. 40 pieces of art will be selected from the field of artist entries that will be presented at the exhibition during the summer South Bay Festival of the Arts. Artist Adam Normandin will be the awards judge and he will select the top four artworks to receive the Ken Miller Arts 2019 award for best show of gold, silver and bronze awards. It's open to all artists worldwide in any two-dimensional media, excluding photography. The festival gives the community an opportunity to experience the arts while showing off everything the foundation has to offer through its programs. The deadline is April 30th. You can apply at onlinejuriedshows.com. Now, don't be alarmed if you notice a swarm of butterflies in your backyard. They're called painted ladies butterflies and they're traveling north heading to Oregon. Billions of them are migrating from the deserts of Mexico and experts say the unusually large migration is due to all of the recent rainfall. The painted lady butterflies are about the size of a silver dollar and are yellowish, orange and brown. They're one of the most common butterflies in North America. They fly 6 to 12 feet off the ground and you'll see them in swarms. If you go in your backyard, you might even see them there. I saw over 50 in my orange tree yesterday. Um, it's a really spectacular thing to see. They, scientists think that it may correlate with the El Nino year. We have had over 16 inches of rain and we're in the month of March. So um, we encourage you guys to come down to Madrona Marsh. If you haven't seen the painted ladies, you'll probably see them in your backyard. Even when you're driving down um, through the city of Torrance, you'll see them. Experts say the re residents can expect to see the butterflies swarming around for another month as they continue their migration. As the aviation industry faces a large shortage in pilots, one local academy has opened its doors to train pilots with the top-of-the-line technology. 
Torrance City Cable reporter Michael Patterson tells us more. Amidst the roar of propellers and the whir of rotors, at the Torrance Airport is an academy that is solving a big need one flight at a time. I've been flying for 40 years and I've never seen it like this. According to a 2018 Boeing industry forecast, there is going to be a need for 790,000 civil aviation pilots in the next 20 years. Tomas Martinez, a flight instructor at the Sling Pilot Academy located at the Torrance Airport, says there is a major shortage, so severe that airline companies are now offering large signing bonuses to drive interest in the aviation industry. When you get that exploding market, you couple that with more people flying, then you couple that with it takes a long time to make a pilot and the retirement age of 65. You put all those things together and then you get a pilot shortage. Our focus is to get you to the airlines the quickest. Wayne Totten is a part owner of the Sling Pilot Academy and his response to the issue was to offer a nine month accelerated course. With tuition costing nearly $63,000, it is faster and cheaper compared to most other flight schools. There's a great opportunity for pilots right now and it's going to get even better over the next 10 years. Unlike other flight schools, the academy allows students to fly in modern planes, such as the Sling, that more closely resemble the electronic components found in airline planes. Totem tells me that the Sling plane is especially appealing because it is equipped with modern technologies, such as this touchscreen navigation system and a flight stick, which makes the plane fly like a fighter jet. Why would you learn in an aircraft that was designed back in the 50s, you know, a vintage aircraft, if you're going to be flying modern aircraft with modern instruments? Everybody here just wants to fly, and, and they're always excited about flying. The most amazing process about becoming a pilot is just flying an airplane. It's the most amazing feeling in the world. Students like Butler started flying because of a passion for aviation, but now due to incentives from the pilot shortage may consider it a future career. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Michael Patterson. Thanks, Michael. The Sling Pilot Academy is offering a $20,000 scholarship to a potential student. You can find out how to apply on the Sling website at .slingpilotacademy.com under the Enrollments tab. There was a no better day than today to indulge in a stack of fluffy pancakes, and it's all for free. National Pancake Day is here and IHOP is giving away their fluffy white pancakes for free between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you still have time to order a short stack of buttermilk pancakes at the restaurant chain. The deal is only for dine-in and limited to one stack per customer, saving you more than five bucks. We stopped by the only IHOP in the city located in the Torrance Crossroads Shopping Center where they had six cooks and ten servers making this day happen. We're uh, having our, or celebrating our All You Can Eat Free Pancake Day, which we do it every year. And uh, a lot of people are really expecting uh, this day, uh, you know, throughout the year. And uh, so far we have sold about 500 pancakes. Uh, we're expecting to sell at least 2,000 throughout the day. The proceeds of today will benefit the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and Shriners Hospitals for Children. The Delamo Fashion Center is getting attention for its unique and diverse cuisines. The center posted on its Facebook page today a video produced by Food Beast, a popular food and drink blog that featured five crazy foods customers can find when visiting one of America's largest malls. The first stop was Stacked, where the host Evan Lancaster tried out various delicious items such as the juicy fuego six patty burger that has a fried egg and smoked bacon his next stop was luna grill that makes delicious mediterranean food like the flat cut chicken kebab plate then he also checked out Brazil at nordstrom and frida mexican cuisine you can check out the full video on youtube now let's get to the weather. Today it was cloudy with a high of 67 degrees and an expected low of 53 tonight. Then tomorrow it will be sunny with a high of 65 degrees and an expected low of 49. Then on Thursday there will be a high of 68 degrees. Honda announced today it's taking steps to protect drivers after another large recall. 
Nearly 1.1 million Honda and Acura cars in the United States are being recalled to replace defective Takata airbags on the driver's side. The cars involved were previously repaired or fully replaced. Honda is offering free repairs of the recalled cars immediately. The company became aware of the issue after a Honda Odyssey crashed and the airbag deployed and injured the driver. Investigation later found that manufacturing issues at Takata's Mexico facility caused excessive moisture into the inflator during the assembly. Now 15 car models are part of the recall. You can find the list on Honda's website. The total number of recalled inflators is now about 21 million. You can find more information at hondaairbaginfo.com. A popular all-purpose flower is being taken off the shelves over concerns of salmonella contamination. The company behind Pillsbury is recalling more than 12,000 cases of its unbleached all-purpose five-pound flour product. A random inspection found traces of salmonella in one of the packages. Hometown Foods officials say the product is being recalled out of an abundance of caution. The codes for the recall are on the screen. The flour products were sold through a limited number of retailers, including Publix and Winnie Dixie. The products should be thrown away or returned for a refund. So far, there have been no reports of illnesses associated with this recall. Taking a bite of your next meal could get you some money. Chipotle announced today it's expanding its rewards program nationwide, and there's some perks with cash. For the week, it's giving out free cash through Venmo. 25,000 people per day can win between $1 and $500 from Chipotle for signing up for the company's reward program. But you only have until this Friday to take advantage. Winners will receive a payment through their Venmo account with a link to the rewards program. The chain is ready to give away nearly $250,000. They kicked off its rewards program in September, and it gives customers Customers points for ordering food online or on the company's app. But that's not all. Customers can also get free chips and guac after their first purchase as a member of the program. You'll need to make an order of $5 or more through the Chipotle Rewards Program. For a chance to win, go to ChipotleRewardsMe.com and the winner will receive notice within 24 hours through Venmo. Now let's get to some events. This Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., the Torrance South Bay YMCA is having its senior St. Patrick's Day celebration. People can celebrate and eat a traditional Irish meal. Tickets are being pre-sold at the senior office. Then the Torrance Craftsmen's Guild will present the 50th Annual Spring Arts and Crafts Fair at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center this Saturday. It will take place from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., since 1970, the Torrance Craftsman Skill has been featuring handmade treasures twice a year. Admission is free. Well, in just two minutes, Jasmine Roshan will join me to talk about a nonprofit organization that is taking steps to make communities more eco friendly and much more. This in just minutes. can't sit here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. We're not friends. Why are you talking to me? You started it. She's so gross. Lame. Loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. I don't want to exclude anyone. I don't want to make anyone feel lonely. Left out. Hurt. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment and consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. Dad? Just one minute, okay? Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you.
can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Welcome back to the second half of Newsbreak Live. Joining me is Jasmine Roshan, who is the Outreach Coordinator for Grid Alternatives Greater Los Angeles. Welcome to Newsbreak Live. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. And today we're talking about the great organization called Grid Alternatives Greater Los Angeles. So tell me about the mission. Yeah, so Grid Alternatives, um, we're actually nationwide. We're a mission-driven nonprofit um, here in Los Angeles. Um, we serve all of Los Angeles County. Um, although we have offices everywhere. Um, our main goal uh, is to bring renewable energy to everybody, not just um, the people who can afford it or people who are in the industry already. Um, so we wanna make sure that it's really accessible to people. Um, our mission is to um, really focus on people, planet, and employment. And we're gonna talk more about the wonderful programs and helping people in the employment realm, but first talk to me about the history and the main mission of the solar programs that you guys have. Yeah, so it's a really cool story actually. Uh, nearly 20 years ago, our founders, Erica and Tim, um, in Oakland, they were working in solar for a really long time and they realized that a lot of people were being left out of the industry. Um, and so they kind of made it their new mission uh, to create Grid as a nonprofit uh, to really focus on getting yeah, getting people in the industry and making sure that um, the people who really need it are being served and um, and those specifically that are affected by air pollution, um, by high cost of energy, et cetera. Um, so yeah. the focus is really renewable energy, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to these programs, who are you helping? How can people participate if they're interested in getting solar panels or any other part of your program? Yeah. So. Um, you can apply online or give us a call. Our, our website is gridsolar.org, uh, or you can give us a call at 213-213-5899. Uh, and the application is pretty easy. So once you apply, um, you'll get a call for um, to check your eligibility. Uh, and then you'll talk to a person that works with us, talk about our program. Uh, one of my teammates will come out and help out in designing a system for you that will meet your needs. And then we usually do a one to two day installation, and then you'll have solar panels. If you go on your website mm -hmm. and you see the impact that Grid has made, it's incredible. So talk mm -hmm. to me about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, yeah, so we are nationwide. Uh, here in Los Angeles, um, we've done, we do usually hundreds of homes every year. Across California, that ends up being thousands of homes um, as a part of our single family uh, affordable solar homes program. And yeah, it's really great being able to help so many families um, and so when it comes to funding, talk to me a little about, about that because it's mixed. A lot of people donate and you make this possible for mm -hmm. families or even people who are interested in this. Yeah, so most of our funding comes from the state and that's our single family affordable solar homes program. Uh, it's a mouthful. And <laughs> um, so it's great to have a state funding. We also additionally do have um, donations. We do actually have a lot of partnerships too with uh, utilities. Uh, and other groups that want to help out and have the same mission as us. So you mentioned this earlier in the segment, the goal is twofold. The organization mm -hmm. also helps students get involved for the future. So talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of places that, um, that you can kind of enter in to get into the solar industry. Right. And the solar industry, it's growing so much. Uh, it's projected to grow 65 times its size um, by 2050. So it's definitely the place to be for looking for a new career. Um, we do uh, training in, on actual rooftop solar installations, as well as uh, design classes. We also do certifications in it. Um, yeah, we do a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. And many students from universities mm -hmm. also work with you for projects and really mm -hmm. get hands on. Yeah, we do have a lot of, a lot of different places we plug people in um, to get into solar. We also do job placement as well. So in our Los Angeles office, we do between 80 to 100 job placements each year, oh, wow. um, and that's connecting to paying jobs. Um, so it's, it's real changes in people's lives. And I know you told me that about 200 um, projects are done in Los Angeles County alone. So mm -hmm. tell me about the work that's being done here in the city of Torrance. 
Yeah, so in Torrance, uh, we worked in a couple of neighborhoods around here and in South Bay, um, mostly around um, areas that are really burdened with air pollution. Mm -hmm. um, those areas are areas that we, we do want to target. Um, I hope that we can expand it, of course. Um, but so far, we've saved Torrance residents. Um, their projects will have saved over $300,000, and that's for families to keep. Um, so it's a, great, it's a great savings for them to have. Um, and that's like about equivalent to getting 100 cars off of the road. So that's a huge impact for the environment as well. And that means that that much less energy has to be produced at power plants, um, for example. And so gets to our next topic of discussion. What are incentives for people that are watching? They're like, okay, what are solar panels? What is renewable energy? What are incentives and benefits in the state of California now? I know this is such a timely topic mm -hmm. for having solar panels. Mm -hmm. So for our homeowners, um, they see a guaranteed 50 to 80% savings off their electricity bill. Um, so that could be potentially hundreds of dollars a month for families. And they get to keep all that savings. So it's really helpful for people. You also get that extra benefit of helping the environment, of course. Um, whatever you produce on your solar panels means less is being produced at the power plants. And this gets me to talking about the state of California is the first state in the nation mm -hmm. in making it mandatory for new homes to have solar panels. This will take place in 2020. Mm -hmm. So what will this mean for homeowners? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really exciting that the state of California is the first, the first state to do this. Uh, we voted on it last year. And um, in 2020, all new homes will have solar panels. Um, required. So the cool thing is if you're buying a new house you're gonna have solar panels automatically um, but we want to make sure that the people who already have solar I'm sorry that already have homes uh, excuse me um, still have access to the solar industry and they can do that through our program as well as we'll definitely see a growth uh, in the solar industry because um, we're gonna have this huge requirement we have 86,000 Californians already employed in the solar industry today uh, so that's definitely going to boom once we get that new um, policy coming in in 2020. But yeah, so it is twofold. We do get to have this huge growth in job opportunities and we get to see a lot of solar coming into California. And Grid Alternatives is in the center of all of that. Mm -hmm. And for people tuning in right now, you can get all this information at energyforallprogram.org. And there's so much information mm -hmm. about how much of a difference Grid has made and will be making in the future. So now talk to me, what's the cost of installing so solar panels? So for homeowners, it's $0. <laughs> okay. So the cool thing is, since we do get to leverage all the state funding, we are program administrators for the state of California, for the single family affordable solar homes program. Um, and with that funding and with our other partnerships, we're able to make sure that homeowners never pay us anything out of pocket. They get to keep all the savings. There aren't any hidden costs. Um, and we make sure that we cover everything because we want it to be easy for homeowners. Um, yeah, and we want you to have that savings, that 50 to 80% off of your bill. So, yeah. Who can participate? I mean, I mean, you did mention the process, but mm -hmm. is there a certain income someone needs to have mm -hmm. or background? Mm -hmm. So the state does require us to have an income limit, um, okay. but you just have to be a homeowner, uh, live in our service area. Um, in Torrance, it's a lot of Torrance, mm -hmm. uh, including South Bay and neighboring cities as well. We do, our office does all of Los Angeles County, as I said before. Um, your roof needs to be suitable for solar. Um, and uh, yeah. So you talked to me a lot about Torrance, Los Angeles County, but how many systems have been installed nationwide? Yeah, so 14,000 homes have gotten solar systems nationwide from grid alternatives. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So what does that mean in retrospect? I know you met, you did say that $40 million? So yeah. That means that's how much these families have saved in total? So it's the projected savings over the lifetime of the system. Um, okay. But it'll be real life savings for these real families um, to spend on whatever they need to spend it on. Um, so that could be other bills, um, could be whatever they need. So what are the many ways people can get involved with GRID? From job training, volunteer work, what else? Um, so definitely check out our job training and volunteer if you're interested in that. Um, if you're a homeowner, definitely check out our program. Go to gridsolar.org um, or give us a call at 213-213-5899. Um, also, you can do referrals. So we have this cool new program. Um, since we're a nonprofit, I never get commissioned for any of our, our signups. Um, but the cool new program is that you get to have um, kind of a commission. Uh, so that'll be $200 for every household that you recommend that does get solar through our program. 
Wow. Um, and there isn't a limit, um, so anyone can participate. You don't have to be a homeowner, um, but if you know somebody who could really use it, um, definitely tell them about us and get them signed up. Anything else you'd like to add about Grid Alternatives' mission and kind of the future of things and how everything is going with renewable energy? Yeah, the future is bright. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to see um, a lot of this expansion in solar, um, the job growth for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely projected to be huge, uh, especially in California. Um, I would love to see um, a lot of these programs spread nationwide. Um, California is really on the forefront, but it would be cool if you know more states got on board. Thank you, Jasmine, mm -hmm. so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. And as Jasmine mentioned earlier in the segment, for any information about Grid, grid Alternatives Los Angeles, you can go to energyforallprogram.org. Well, that does it for Newsbreak Live. If you ever have news or video that you'd like to share, please email us at newsbreak at torrentca.gov. Also, if you missed any portion of the show, you can catch it all on Torrent City Cable's YouTube page. City Council does have the knife. Have a great night.